I'm the Curious Sage, Dwayne Grove, bringing you the amazing and transformative power and value of human connection. Well, you can see from the background, I'm not in Maui anymore. The wonderful energy vortices and the beauty of the islands will have to wait for another year. But we'll be back. And since then, I have had a number of folks that actually reached out to me about the video I did while I was there on the topic of perfection, of being formed in the image and likeness of the Creator. And so I wanted to build on that a little bit. And I wanted to address perfection from a very different perspective. That perspective is that in our Western society in particular, we seem to have societal norms, if you will, on what perfection should or shouldn't look like. Of course, we see it played out in uh, the media all the time. But one of the things that I wanted to point out in particular was that we use language in very specific ways that can be very detrimental to people. So, for example, there are wonderful people that have been born with Down syndrome or autism or maybe have uh, missing limbs when they were born. In our Western society, we call those abnormalities or birth defects or, you know, uh, some sort of handicap, if you will. But in many cultures around the world, a child born with Down syndrome or some other condition like that are revered. They are unique. They are special. And in many ways, they are considered to be magical. And if you think about that for a minute, there's a tremendous amount of power there. And they were born perfect as they were. If they are made in the image and likeness of the Creator, they too were born perfect. And for any of you that have ever worked with a child that has Down syndrome or maybe on the autism spectrum or, or any t other type of difference, you'll know that those children are magical. They are creative. They exude love at a level that most of us only could wish to. And so there must be something there in the way that other cultures have looked at children born with these conditions. And those conditions are not to be viewed in negative light, but are to be celebrated and supported. The other thing that comes to mind is children that obviously grow up and almost immediately uh, exhibit uh, differences with respect to their own sexuality. I know of one person in particular that from a very, very early age it was very evident that they were uncomfortable in the body that they were born with in the sense that they did not identify with the anatomy of the body that they had. And yet in society we consider that in many ways to be abnormal or we oftentimes find religion creeping in and considering it abhorrent. But yet this is how this child was born. And this is what is beautiful about this child. The child was born perfect in the way that they were created. And so I would challenge each and every one of us, myself included, to be careful with the language that we use. These are not defects. These are not abnormalities. Each child born with those kinds of conditions was born that way for a purpose. And they were born perfect in that place. And we should celebrate that perfection and support them in every way possible. Because if God created each one of us in his or her image or likeness, then isn't it true that they also were created perfect? from the very beginning. That's the challenge that I have for each of us today, and we'll be back with you again very soon.